Yeah. <laughs> Sharing one tissue, there's too much of love. <laughs> Did you get it in a heart just for me? <laughs> Thank you. Today, I'm going to eat street food. A little bit of a food, a little bit of a food, a little bit of a food, but not alone. My name is MasterChef Sarah Todd. You all know Sarah Todd. She was in MasterChef Australia. She won the hearts of Indians when she cooked up Indian food. She ran a restaurant in India. She's written several books and she is brilliant, beautiful. So, I am Milte hai Sarah Todd se aur pushte hai ke khane mein kya hai. It's a really hot, sultry afternoon in Mumbai and to raise the temperature further, here she is, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Yes. And I couldn't have thought of a better person to kick off my Mumbai trip this time with, with you, Kanal. So I'm excited. Fantastic. But listen, this is not the first time you've come to Mumbai. This is not the first time you're in India. Your relationship with India goes back a long way. Yeah. Actually goes back to MasterChef. It right? does. Yeah. So for me, uh, my first trip to India is a decade ago and so for me honestly it just I fell in love with the culture, the food, the, um, everything about India. So, so there is all this Indian food that you can get in the Indian family yes. and then there's this whole culture of street food. Everybody worries about their stomach when they come here. Did you just plunge into it I or did you? plunged into it. I went straight to the streets. I've eaten everywhere. I've been to 20 or 30 cities across the country and I eat everything, I taste everything. I'm sure, you know, like uh, in another lifetime, I was born in India, I'm sure. <laughs> in this lifetime, you were born in India. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so we've decided not to go to any fancy ass restaurants. We're going to do some really good Mumbai food. What is that street food that you want to start off with? I, I feel like I have to start with Vada Pao. I love it. Sarah said vada pao and it is our duty to take her wherever she wants. Pretty woman on the streets of Mumbai, <laughs> we shall submit to anything she wants. Before we have the vada pao, let's talk a little bit about these sauces that you have launched. Yes. You cooked up in a way. Yes, during my time in India, I realized that chili is not just to blow your socks off. Correct. It's about flavor and it's about finding different chilies to to play with different flavors of your food. So I was in Melbourne at the time and a friend of mine called me up and said, look, I want um, Kashmiri chili paste okay. and, he, and I was like, it's so easy, I can make it, I have the chilies in my cupboard right now mm. and he was like, okay sure, so I sent it over, he was on his Instagram and he showed this sauce and said, look, you know, I don't know how to make this, but my friend makes it, you can call her up and, or, you know, message her and, and ask her how to make it. Mm. And I got all these DMs going, where can I buy this sauce? I want to try so it. One and order led to another <laughs> order, led to another third order. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So for me, I think my experience in India led me to wanting to taste the world one chili at a time. So extremely well. <laughs> each sauce that we created has a little story behind it, the inspiration from where the chili came from, and then of course the flavors. So it is a work in progress. It's called Hot Toddy, and Hot my last name's Todd, so that's where it comes from. <laughs> okay, Sarah, we've talked a lot. I think we should start eating and know, talking and eating food? at the same time. Vada pao, vada pao. And then we we'll try some of the sauce with the vada pao. Done. Huh? Done. So look, let's have a look at this yes. vada pao. Okay. I see it. Yeah. Fried chili, gunpowder. <laughs> Two kinds of chutney sauces and all that. Okay. But I'm going to have one from here. Oh, I missed it so much. <laughs> Seriously. You know, this is the first street food I've had since getting back this time. Ah, and oh, it's just the, the little slight sweetness in the, the pal, like, you know, um, it's really soft and and Lovely. the crispiness of the potato are and you, oh gosh, it's are, delicious. Are you good with spice? Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have the question. It's good with spice, I can see that because this is my spice. I right made now. a range of chili sauces. Yeah. I love spice. I've got a vada vada here. Yes. Without the chutneys. Yes. And I want to try it with one of the Yeah, okay, done. Let's do it. Okay, done. Let's do it. 
Should we put it inside or do we yeah. do is it a dipping sauce? What do you think? No, we'll put it inside. Okay. Okay. And we'll <laughs> Dab it in. And I, what I love doing, because I like the heat, I put some of the ghost chili the, uh, oh. on as well. <laughs> Is it hot? Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not hot. I mean, not, I mean, oh, it's yeah. okay. Okay, fine. Okay. It's, mm, no. <laughs> Temperature hot. Temperature. Not spice hot. No. Okay, good. Very <laughs> wonderful. I love this chili. There's a, there's a sourness to it, yes. which is really nice. Unusual. I think it goes really well with the vada pav. And uh, I'm sure it will go well with a lot of India, even in, with the Bombay sandwich, I think this oh, would be a great sauce. That's what I was wondering, either the Kashmiri tomato, because it's like that tomato influence, mm. but I like that you said that because it, you know, um, it will. it's playing around with the different flavours going together, which I think is really cool. It's got spicy, it's got a little sour, and it's yes. really nice. Amazing. So we're done with the vada pav, but there's a lot more coming up. A lot more street food. So, Can't uh, wait. <laughs> and go. <laughs> Sharing one tissue, there's too much of love. It's too much love. Okay, here we go. Pani Puri. Inko inko pehle dena. Or tikha zyada inko dena. Hamko kam tikha dena. Is it great? Abhi, thoda isme. Little bit. Is that too much? Is that much? No, it's good. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> with your sauce. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, I just feel like it's like a little piece of art, the way he adds all the fillings in. It's wonderful. <laughs> Nearly always, uh, you know, everyone turns it down for me, but I love to get the heat. I like that little kick, it's delicious. I like to see the yeah? birds actually sauce in a little pani puri. Very nice. So now I have to tell you, Day Puri is one of my all time favorites and it's one I cook for all my friends in Australia and all over and you everyone. Make it, I make it all the time, I love it, I'm obsessed with it. But it would never be as good as what we're about to have now because this it's is... It's on the street. It's on the street, it's on like the street. it's just not the same, it's not the same, so... But, I, but I'm sure you make a really good version. Uh, nowhere near this, but I love making it. Come on. So. Let's, before it gets all soft and soggy. It's a better than the banana puri. And you're right, it's a very textured. How fresh, you know, that sweet curd, the textures, when you bite into it, it's an explosion of mm. flavor. Mm. It's just. You just can't beat it. Lovely. I can't beat it. So Sarah, we had this wonderful street side Pani Puri at Elko in Bandra on Hill Road, which is an iconic place. And we thought we'd get away from the heat a bit, get into some air conditioning, sit down peacefully, and yet eat what is called street food. Yes. Yeah. So we've got Amazing. an iconic Mumbai, yes. Pau Bhaji, Mumbai, I've Pau had Bhaji. this on the street before. You yes. Yeah. I love this. You know, seeing how they make it yeah. on the big tawa, right? On, on the, the big, big tawa. Pan. Yeah. Cooking the beans or the rajma yeah. out, and then they smash it, smash it and, and, and like, you get oh. this sound oh. because they're so good. you know yeah. on the tawa. It's amazing watching it made. Okay, this is ragda patties. Did you get it in a heart just for me? <laughs> Thank you. It's very rarely that we have such attractive things on our show. <laughs> Normally, it is some old sweaty man making food. Very attractive. But this time, <laughs> <laughs> so a nice little heart for me. I like nice it. little heart. Okay. <laughs> So how do we, you do you know, do you use a spoon or you dunk? No, we do dunk. I think dunk. we just dunk is the best way, right? Do this. Yeah. One bread for you. And one a bit bread of for the you. butter on top. Hmm. Wow. It's like it's got a luxurious flavor, which is such an interesting thing to say for a street food, but. Mm. It, it's got layers in the... Yeah, and although the base is predominantly tomato, yes. you can still get all the other 
Totally. You can get the potato, you can get the peas in yes. it, you can get a bit of spices in it, sorry. Yeah, absolutely. And all that butter on top. How good is that? Yeah. So what I learned in French school was monte à beurre. So you always monte with butter at, yeah. the at the end. And that just like, it's like the Indian version of monte à beurre, which is just like... Monte à beurre. <laughs> Correct? Yeah. I said it right, right? Exactly. Beurre yeah. being butter. So how do you say monte à beurre in Hindi? Um, makhan lagake. Makhan lagake. Yeah. <laughs> and <Toddy>. hot toddy. <laughs> And you've got a little, uh, little sort of scale yes. over here from yeah. not to hot. Exactly, because I feel like you go to the store and you go to buy chili sauce, and you don't know if it's going to, you know, literally blow your socks off, or you can. It's going to be mild, or it's going to be not. So cashmere tomato, it's just that subtle flavour of the cashmere chili coming through, but it's still like a tomato sauce. So. So it's an Indian version of. Can I say it's an Indian version of tomato sauce? Yeah, exactly. So we'll first, you know, what I would suggest is, yes. okay, let's get rid of the bread. You have one of these hearts. Are you going to break my heart here? <laughs> I was about to break your heart. <laughs> oh, you broke my heart. <laughs> let's taste it just with the okay. sauce and see yeah. how it goes. Because you'll get an idea of how other fried things go with this sauce as well. Yes, okay? and that's what I noticed in India. Like, tomato sauce is really like a staple for it's all Indian. these like, street food Indian, dishes. Yeah. It goes really well together. It's great. It goes really well. Yeah. It's got the, the flavors of mm. Kashmiri chilies. Mm -hmm. Not terribly spicy. No. And the kids can still have this one. Great. Yeah. So I think I think we've had a good afternoon, a very oh. fruitful afternoon of eating roadside street food with uh, Sarah Todd. <laughs> I'm going to come to Goa and eat in a restaurant. Yes. I'm going to come to Melbourne. We'll all go to uh, Melbourne. Yes. What do you say? I'm bringing you for a street yeah. food tour in Australia now. It's not just all barbecue, okay? No, no. No, <laughs> no shrimp and barbecue, but yeah. more than that. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for having thank me. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for uh, accompanying me. Yes. Thank you for reintroducing me to the streets of my own city. Yes. And if you like the episode, then you know what to do. You've got to share. You've got to subscribe. You've got to comment. Like. You've got to like. Uh, uh, you've got to follow, you've got to do everything. Or, uh, do it all. And as they, as, as they say, as we always end our episode and we say ki Aate rahiye, khate rahiye, aur poochte rahiye ke Khani mein kya hai? Lovely! Do you know what you must have? Do we need a... Yeah, this is a suka. suka oh, suka puri. Yeah. Amazing. So this is uh, no liquid? No liquid. Just, ah. this is a, you always end it with a suka puri. Yeah. Mmm. Uh, <laughs> but we've got more coming. We've got more coming. We've got more coming. You watch any Hindi films? I believe you have a, you can do dialogues out of Hindi films as well. Kidne, Admet, Te. Kidne, Admet, Te.